it is the traveling Viking back again and in today's video we are going to ask the question why did Britain want India I am in a region in which I believe we can find one of the answers to this very important question when you're in India why did Britain really want to control India why was Britain ruling India for hundreds of years from the 1700s up to 1947 as I just said I believe one of the answers to this question lies in this region in which I am today so let's hop over here there's the bus station and get on one of the local buses out to one of the villages nearby Uti where I am right now to investigate this question further let's go explore so before we get on the bus I have 10 minutes to kill so let's go ahead and try some of the local delicacies here they sell food they sell tea I'm a little bit hungry hello do you sell um, samosa samosa huh? let's try one of that which one this one how much 10 rupees. 10 rupees. Okay, and a tea. This one? Okay. So this is fried onions. Just onions. Okay. Onion and cabbage. And then a tea, please. So he's making tea here. Are you getting a tea as well? Yes, you are. <laughs> is this a good tea? All right. Let's try this one. What's the name of this one? Bonda. Huh? Onion. Bonda. Onion Bonda. And here is our tea. Alright, let's dive into it. Let's try the tea first. Mm. Very sweet. They put a lot of milk and sugar in there as well. So you have the tea leaf. The tea leaves boiling here and over there he's got milk over here, no? Milk. Milk and sugar and tea. Makes a chai. This is chai tea, yeah? Okay. So milk, sugar. Huh? Energy drink. And then this one. This is basically like a fritter. You know, when you just make basically little burger patties of onions and cabbage. And then, of course, as ever in India, it's always a bit spicy. Pretty good. This is your favorite energy power snack. Say again? The Indian? Indian power. Energy for Indian. Indian energy drink. All right. How many teas do you drink in one day? Four to five. Four to five. Ah, not so many. Whenever I feel depressed, when you feel depressed, you drink a tea. Are you depressed now? Yes. Why? Ah, always troubles with the wife, say. Eh? All right. Let's finish this and get on the bus. So nice and refreshed. We're ready to board the bus now. It's sitting right here, standing right here. So we're gonna just hop in. As far as I know, the way it works, you just come into the bus and take a seat. And then the guy will come and will come and charge us as, as the bus starts get going. But it's sitting right here, as you can see on the way to go out of the bus station. Towards the destination. It's a town called Yelane. Let's go and investigate Indian village life. All right, so the quickest of you will probably have noticed the little hint from the bus station there. What I'm suggesting is the reason why Britain wanted to control India was to use the country as a tea plantation country. So back in the 1800s, this led to a big dispute between China and Britain. And Britain, therefore, went to China to steal tea seeds and come here to India and plant the tea seeds, set farms up. They offered Europeans or British people to come to India, get paid to set up tea fields and tea farms to produce tea here that they could then sell on back in Britain. And this is what we're going to go explore today. How are you? Fine. What are you producing here? What are you producing here? English. English. Karan, Ian Kelfa. Hi, hello. How are you? Fine, how are you? Good, good. 
And what are you making here? Beetroot. Beetroot. Okay, not tea. Tea is further down. Tea is still further down. So there's more agriculture in this area as well. Oh yeah. Can I take a look? Ah, uh, okay. Sure. Okay. This is your father? Yeah. Okay. How long have you had this little farm? 25 years. 45 years? 25 years. 25. Okay. Is this the farmhouse down there? Uh. Can I look? Yeah, sure. So here in this area there's much, uh, much agriculture. Yeah. But it's specif specifically tea, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Lots of tea. Lots of tea on the road. This is one of the famous tea productions in the world. Yeah. This area, Nilgiris. Nilgiris. Nilgiri. Nilgiris. Nilgiris. That's what you say. So Nilgiris is one of the most famous teas in the whole world. The British, in the beginning, started planting tea up near the Chinese border, up in the Himalayan mountains. But then they figured out that they could plant tea in other regions of India as well. And this is down in the south here in Nilgiris. How, mu how much uh, beetroot do you sell? Beetroot? Yeah. After three months, we will take the harvest the beetroot and we will sell to the market. To the market? Yeah, in Medpalyam. Where is that? This way? Near Coimbatore. Okay, near Coimbatore. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. That's the main city here in the area. Ah, yeah. That's the big city in big the area. City. And how much beetroot do you produce? Produce um, for five, 500 bags. 500 bags. And how Eight much? Bags. 80 kgs. 80 kgs 80 in each bag. bag. 500 bags. Oh, okay, that's a lot. Ah. And how much do you make good money with that? Ah, yeah. Good business. Good business. <laughs> Very uh, good. One kg of beetroot will sell to maximum 50 to 60 rupees. One kg. One kg, 50, 60 rupees. Ah, 50, 50 rupees. Okay, so less than a dollar. Ah. For you, or in the market? For in market. In the market. Market. One kg of beetroot, 50 rupees. And you get the 50 rupees? Ah. For 50 one rupees kg. for you. Okay, you sell yourself. Ah, you also myself. Okay, okay, your family. Ah, all right. So over here, it's basically like the central square and also the bus stand, as they call it, or the bus station. Hello. Do I get Ketty? This bus yeah, goes to Ketty? No, no. This bus? Yeah. Okay. No? Next bus? Yeah. In front? All right, thank you. So the next bus over here. It's gonna go to where I want to go. Kitty. But check it out here. Everybody's just standing around. It's about lunchtime more or less now. Let's go and ask the driver here. Well, there's a party going on in this bus. Hello, this bus goes to Kitty? How much to get to Kitty? 10 rupees. Okay, thank you. So I guess we just get a stand here and wait. Check out this bus. Very cool, decorated colors and everything and a Hindi music going on yeah, check out this bus the little fish is up here Nemo is on the roof the bus is packed got these little nice curtains got some dream catchers up there in the front with the driver sitting yeah pretty cool local bus let's get to Ketty let's explore some tea estates All right, so we made it to the next little village, Keti Palada. It's the name of this little town here and check out the view. We're just at a little parking area basically at the bus station of the little village here. You can just see tea fields as far as the eye reaches here. Down here, up on the hills, all the way out in the background, continuing down the valley. And this is what I hope to explore today. Let's go and see how we can figure this out. If we can get inside one of the tea farms, get a little tour, something like that. Also, we gotta get some food and some drink, because I'm thirsty. Uh, vegetables, not tea. Yeah. Not tea. Tea name. Where do, I where do I find tea village? Only carrot. Carrots? Yes. Uh, cabbage, no? Cabbage, carrot. carrot. What is this? Carrots inside? This is Smaller carrots. Ah, smaller carrots. Okay. Is it like a communal farm? Like for the whole community? Yes. How are you? You're washing the carrots? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Can I try? Let's try. The quality of the carrot here. Australia? 
Uh, Denmark. Denmark, Denmark. So they're all washing them here into the bags. And then you take to the market and you sell. Sell in market. Okay. <laughs> How are you? And then over there they package them. Denmark, Denmark, Denmark. North of Europe. Lay, lay. Lay, what's that? YouTube. We've got some carrots here. Good carrots. Nice yeah. That's a bit of the food. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. More. I fill up. Thank you. Let's go and check out what they're doing over here. So here we have the machine where obviously the the carrots are going through here. Lots of spill water coming out. All the dirty water coming out here, running over there. I know. Good, good. Where are the carrots? Huh? I am from Denmark. Denmark. I come over. Okay. How are you? So here you put the bed the carrot up here and into machine. Okay, so these guys put the carrots in here, dirty, right from the farm. They roll down here and they walk up and into that machine. Get washed in that machine, clean the fertilized, or not fertilized, but they call it sterilized, I guess. And then they roll out on the other side as we saw before. How many kilos do you have in one bag? I don't know. How many kilos? 50 kilos. 50 kilos. 50 kg. 100 kg. 100 kg. Is it bigger? Huh? And how much 50 kilos of carrot? This is not ready. How many rupees? One catch. What do you mean rupees? One catch. Yeah. One, one kilo, fifty five rupees. Okay, one kilo, fifty five rupees. Okay, Good. Okay. This one good. This one where? Right there. Down here. That's very heavy. 50 kilos, obviously. So you need to be two people there helping out. How many bags do you do a day? Bags? How many each day? This is a week later. Yeah. Only 75 bags. Each day. Uh, each day. Every day. Every, every day. All year round. Every uh, day. Oh, okay. Double, double time. So you get strong. Yes. Good gym. I yes. think only eating party. Only eating? What do you eat? Eat and uh, roti. 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 Okay. Roti eating. Alright. <laughs> Let's go and see if I can find some roti. Thank you. Okay. There we go again. These ones are ready for exporting. For selling. They call it exporting even though it's still within the country. And they fill it up on the whole truck here. Loaded with carrots. Ready to go to Chennai. Chennai where we came from the other day. Hello there. What are you doing? You're just resting. Resting. Just watching the other good people. Are they doing a good job? Very good job. Yeah, I think so too. So a friend here, John Paul, the crowd loader, is going to show me where I can find some good food. Yeah. You know the good spot? Yes, yes. For some good food. What are we going for? This is only roti. Roti? And omelette. An omelette? Omelette. Okay. This, uh, this uh, place here. Eh? This here? Uh, Next one. Uh, Check it out. There's something here, but that seems to be more like a this, uh, bakery. This one will then pure vegetarian. Say again? This one will then pure vegetarian. Uh, and rice. Only rice. Okay. Rice and uh, snacks. All right. Not this one. So only snacks here. And only vegetarian. Big man. Are you a vegetarian? Uh, you are? Uh, I am not. Uh, not and, uh, you eat beef? Yes. Or you don't eat beef here? You don't eat beef in India, this, no? Uh, this one here? This here, this here. Good food. Hello. He says you have good food here? Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, do you have roti? Yeah. You have? You are coming from? 
Denmark. Oh, Denmark. Okay, yes. come to eating it. Okay, okay. okay. Say for Vasker, man. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm <laughs> are you the manager here? No, not like the manager. I'm uh -huh. his son. Sorry? I'm his son. Hi, you're his son. Only yeah, family only have. Okay. Only family. Only oh, family business. Yes. Yes. It's not like a big restaurant that you see every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why I want. Local style. <laughs> Real Indian style. Okay. Uh, I'll give you a parota. Okay. Okay, okay. Fantastic. Well, let's investigate more here. Here they have eggs for sale. Not for sale. Not for sale. For the for cooking. Yeah. Ah, okay. I thought you were selling. And in here you have some little bonda. Uh, like ah. Uh, batata bonda. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, uh, what I tried. This one vada. Indian. Indian. Yeah, vada. Little snack. Within what? Within Cabbage. Vada. Huh? Fried? 10 rupees only. One oh, okay. Piece. I think that's what yeah. I had yeah. in uh, Uti Post Station this yeah. morning. I didn't see it. A snack. Yeah. Have you have a, you no, no, now this. Now okay. this. What's out here? Can I? This is uh, firewood. Uh, firewood. <laughs> For cooking? Yeah. Okay. But the kitchen is with gas. Yeah. So why do you need the firewood? Firewood for uh, like boiling water and all. Ah, okay. I see. I see. And here we have. Yes, yes, Cooking yes. with gas. Come, come, come from inside. Yeah. Yes, yes. I come in one moment. I just investigate. Okay. And here we go. So in here you put the fire. Yeah, like uh, for boiling water. So they put the firewood yeah. under the big pot here yeah. to boil fire. Uh, to boil water, sorry. <laughs> okay, very cool. Very cool. And this is where you keep uh, yeah, like, onions and like, chilies, yeah, like <laughs> water, utensils, oh, yeah. a couple of potatoes, a little blender. What's this? It's Cilantro? Uh, uh, coriander. Uh, yeah. Fresh coriander. Coriander from the field. Okay. You'll okay. get a fresh leaf. Yeah. Every day. You produce yourself or no, you buy? No, you'll buy from the farmers. Okay. Directly. All right. That's cool. <laughs> So what what you see here is carrots, enough carrots. Ah, and this is your field? Uh, no, no, not no. my field. Okay. Uh, this is a rental hut. Okay. You rent, it. you rent this little hut here? Yeah. Okay. So you live further uh, up? No, no, we we'll live over there. Over, over there? The, uh, tower over there. Ah, up okay. there, with I the see. electricity tower up yeah. in the background. I see, I see. We live there. All right. Is the food ready? Yeah, yeah. Let's go and try. Please. This is parota. Kerala parota. This is parota. Yeah, Kerala parota. A meal from uh, Kerala. Kerala. Okay. And what is this? This is uh, like red chutney. Red chutney. With pudinas and uh, chili. Chili. Okay. Yes. Spicy. And, and just <coughs> so we put here. And what do we have over here? This is gravy and dal and uh, chutney. Gravy, dal and chutney. chutney. Okay, okay. Let's try. Ah, so you put a little bit there. Okay. And put some coconut chutney. Coconut chutney? Yeah. Alright, cool. And how do I eat this? By hand. Do I make a roll? No. Do I just dip? Like dipping. And with this? Yeah. I just spread? No, no. Just dip. Dip on the Just dip. Gravy. Okay. So you just dip in this. This was chili chutney? Yeah, chili chutney. Chili chutney. Let's try the coconut. Coconut chutney. Coconut chutney here. Let's give it a go. Mm. Oh. How is this? The coconut is good. Yeah, good. The coconut is very creamy. Oh, okay. Nice and creamy. It's a neutralizer. It neutralizes the, the spicy taste of, of the chili, the chutney. And the gravy thing they have there as well. Mm, pretty good. <laughs> Hello, sir. <laughs> this is a good place to eat. You come here every day. Daily or England? Daily here for lunch. Uh, for lunch. Afternoon. Afternoon. Uh, your carrots or tea no, or? I like uh, uh, potato and land. Farmer. He's a farmer. Farmer. Potato, carrot. Potato, carrots. Okay, okay. Very good. Enjoy your food. Oh, okay. So we've been served another food here. Some rice thing. What was this? Kushka. Kushka. Yeah. Okay. And then another gravy on top? Gravy. Yeah. What's the name of that? Gravy. We call it gravy. You just call it gravy. It's the same as this one over yeah, here? Yeah, same one. Okay. So this that's on here is the same. So I just go mix 
yeah, mix with it and heat with that. Mix it up. Yeah. Okay. Let's try. So you just do it like this. And then just take some and into the mouth. Yeah. Oh my god. That's making a mess. <laughs> How do you not spill? <laughs> I don't know, it's maybe because of the experience. You have the technique. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the white guy missing his spoon. <laughs> and we also got an omelette here. This just have some capsicum and onion. Uh, no, like uh, chilies, green chilies and uh, onion. Green chilies and onion. And oh. eggs. Let's try that. I think that's easier to eat. We just take a little bit of that. I think this is easier. Just like this, yeah? yeah? You dip as well? No, no, you can eat it like that. You just eat it like this? Yeah. Okay. That's good. This is like a breakfast. What breakfast? <laughs> you have in your country. Yeah, yeah, this is what I sometimes make for breakfast, something like this. It's like a side dish. Like a side dish. So you were just saying, I was asking you about how Indians feel about English people today. I don't know much about the other Indians, but I feel they are rich, they are educated. The English? English? English is good. Uh -huh. So Indians don't have a disliking to, yeah, no. to no, English? No, majority of the people have the Oh, yes. Okay. There are some people, maybe or maybe not. Uh huh. That's interesting because other countries like Ireland that has been also colonized and and run by England, they don't like them. Okay. Some of the Scottish people don't really like English people either. But here, the feeling is good towards England, English people. All right, that's interesting. So there you have it. The Indians don't dislike the English. Which also goes along with, I've met some English people on my ways here in my travels and they told me the same. They don't ever feel any, uh, any negativity towards them as English people when they're traveling around here in India. So you can come, even if you're English. Provecho. So lunch is done. And our friend here, Saifili, is gonna, is gonna show us where we can find a tea farm. A tea factory. Uh, yeah, tea factory. So you said we're gonna head up this road yeah. up here. That's the tea factory, that white building. Is there, right? The white building up there on the on the hill. Yeah. So we're just gonna go around. Yeah. Okay. And up here we have a that's a Hindu temple. temple. Yeah. Hindu temple, yeah. right? Do you know why they built these like triangular kind of shapes? No, I don't know much about that. Because you're not Hindu. <laughs> yeah. You're not. Uh, I'm a Muslim, right? You're Muslim. Okay. That's an interesting thing about India. How is yeah, it's Very a mixed. country, right? It's like in other parts of the world, like back in Europe where I'm from, there's lots of people that dislike all the Muslims because <laughs> they're coming. There's lots of trouble yeah. uh, in terms of cultural troubles and integrations with living together uh, different religions. Where here in India, you seem to be, things seem to be going really fine, living both Hindu and Muslim and Christians and Buddhists yes. all in one. You don't have issues around what should regulation be, what should laws be, uh, what things you should be allowed to do and not allowed to do. There's no issues around it? Uh, there will be some, but uh, not so much in South. Not so much. But yeah, that's why I'm saying like in, in Europe, there's a lot of issues around the integration of uh, Muslims coming from North Africa and, and the Arab world. To, to immigrate into, into, into Europe. There's lots of these right-wing politicians that get more and more popular that don't like uh, Muslim. Muslims. And yeah, unfortunately, these guys are succeeding in creating, that uh, in creating separation and conflict. There are a lot of politics revolving around that religion, right? Yeah. Their, it's nonsense. Their aim is to divide and conquer. Exactly. Division, that's exactly what uh, what my impression of it is as well. It's like The aim is not really. The aim is to get the people Divided. to hate yeah. the other people, to divide the people within themselves, such that a politician can say, you need me to take care of you. Yes. Vote for me, I will take care of this. So Versus then, just going out, seeing people, talking to them and realizing that at the end of the day we're pretty much the same we all want 
success and prosperity for our families and to be left alone. And at the end of the day, no politician is going to solve that issue for you. But they will tell you they will. Holy cow, that's a view, isn't it? Check it out here. There you really get a good perspective of all the farmland between carrots and beetroots over in this area, tea fields over in that way, just the village spread out on the hills here. And we've got some forest over there, more fields up here. And we're on the way up this road. There should be this tea factory that we're going for. It's up there, right? Yeah, up there. All right. Take in this view once again. Stunning, eh? So we made it to the tea factory. Your name? I'm Sebastian. Surish. Surish. Yes, Surish. Nice Surish. to meet you. Yeah, yeah. I'm Sebastian, coming nice. from Denmark. Hi. I was interested in just seeing how you produce your tea here. Yeah, yeah. Come, come. Yeah, so these are the tea leaves here? Yes, yes. Okay. And they're going around. Ah. Alright, so here's the tea production itself. Okay, bye. Hello. He's a worker. Hello. Fine. This is Sumal Grower. Your brother? Sumal Grower. Sumal Grower. Sumal Grower. Okay. Yeah. So you're a farmer of tea? Yeah, farmer. farmer. So the farmers come here to sell yeah, the leaves to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then you export to, yeah, yeah. Export to, to other Africa. countries? No, no, only local. Only in India? Only in India. Okay. Oh, you've got to watch out. Not get hit by this. So this comes over here and drops into there. Okay. Let's see there. It's gonna fall now, no? Yeah. So it's gonna fall there. There you go. And it drops in there. And what happens there? Yeah. Go to down. Go downstairs. Water van. Okay. It has some one missing stair. Okay. Okay. Come. Come. So this is not in here. Yeah. This here. Trough. Uh -huh. Weathering, weathering trough. It okay. It's a weathering trough. Weathering trough. Weathering trough. Uh -huh. Yesterday I got uh, so much of leaf here. Okay. It's a uh, weathering. 24 hours weathering. Uh huh. Yeah. Like After, it dry, uh, you dry here. Yeah, dry. To dry it. Yeah, yeah, dry. Okay. Okay. Welcome. Which way? Get on, get on. This way. Okay. So we're going down. Yeah. Let's see what's happening downstairs. Yes. So this comes down there. Yeah, comes down to this water van. Okay. It's a small cutting. This such a thing. Ah, yeah. yeah. So then it gets cut into these little pieces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you dry even more. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. smells like grass. Yes. It smells like grass. Aroma, aroma. Yeah. It smells like grass. Yeah. Now you can find one, two, three, four, five. Ah, okay. So cut here, yeah. another cut, another cut, to get it more fine. So you cut here, then it comes over here. Bounce this stuff. So then it gets cut even finer into this part here. It gets cut again and again. And this is the final product. Final, final cutting. Final cut. This is the final cut. Careful here, might be step. Go. Now we're the final here. So more like tea. And what is this? Mist? Cold air. Cold air. Cold air. Cold air. Cold air. Pumps uh, look like uh, around the round sip. Ah, uh, yeah. Now yeah. it's more dry. Yeah. Round round sip. Sip. Round sip. Round sip. Round sip. Is it Google Google now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like a round sip. Yes. And from here, yeah. you dry it. Yeah. After two hours, this is a green green color now. Uh huh. This is the green. This is green color now. Yeah. After two hours. Yeah. Automatically, color change. It's very cold. Color becomes black. Right? After two hours, dark. Where the three girls we have three girls. Okay, so it goes up here and around and comes down there. One, two, three. And down three and out again. Automatically change in color. See, <laughs> take it. Take it? Yeah, take it. Green color, two hours. Automatically change in maroon uh, color. Brown. 
Brown. Brown, black. Brown. You see the contrast? Brown, brown. So this is the final. Yeah. And now it's ready to dry. Yeah. Now the drying process. Okay. Here we have the machinery for drying. Still with belts and everything. Very old school. So that So this comes from the other room. Comes in here. Yeah. And then dry room in here. Okay. Ah, yeah, this one is warm. This is original tea, bulk tea. And now it's ready to make uh, for sale. Yeah. Ready for a good cup yeah. of tea. Yeah, yeah. This is a bulk tea. A bulk? Bulk, bulk tea. Bulk tea. Bulk tea. Bulk tea. Okay. okay. Smell now. Aroma smell. Papa smell. Yeah. Yeah. More smell. Nice smell. Nice smell now, yeah. Now it doesn't smell like grass, yeah. Then it comes here. Shaking. Okay, shaking. To get any dirt out. Grapes, grapes. Grapes, you the grapes. We have a dual grapes. Grapes. We have dual, dual grapes. Yeah, yeah. And now, like this, it's the final product. Yeah, it's the final product. The the red pizza. Packing section. Packing section yes. over there. Kokalati tea industry. Kokalati. In Ketipala that host. Alright. Nice. Okay. Like that. Okay. Finally. Uh-huh. Go to that. Yeah. And how many kilos do you have in one bag? Yeah. How many kilos in one bag? One bag. 35. 35 kilos. 35. 35 kilos. And how many rupees for one bag? No, that's only action. Huh? Action, action. Auction. Auction. Okay. So it's action. Yeah, so you do it hard down. Uh-huh. Highest bidder. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where do you do the auction? Auction is there. Where? Where? I'm to Kochi. Kwanto. I'm to Kochi. This is where? Yeah, three. Three auction centers. Yeah. This is where foreign, foreign buyers come there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy in Car and buy local. Okay. To sell in small packages. Yeah, small packages. In small packages. Yes, yes. In supermarkets. 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 Yes, yes. So on. Okay. So you have 35 kg here, and they get sold, sold at auction yeah. in, in Kochi and Koi Yeah. Auction. Right. So it's like a market price. Yeah, like a market price. What's the best price you get for a bag? That's an actual one. Yeah, but what's the best price? One, one seventy-five. One hundred five. Two hundred two twenty. Two hundred thousand. Just 200 rupees. 200 per kg. We used the price. 200. 200. Uh, I used Not 200,000. 200 per kg. Ah, per kg. Okay. Per kg. Yes. Okay. <laughs> per kg. <laughs> I see, I see. So okay. 200 yeah. times 35. Yeah, the good call. Good tea, na. Uh -huh. Per kg, 200. The yeah. Auction center. Okay, okay, okay. That's like the good price. Yes. Okay. Where do you, do you know where your tea is sold the most? Yes, pardon? Do you know where your tea is sold the most? Yes, sold the most. In India, in England, in the US, in China? In the auction, auction is yeah. buyers, no. After buyers, the auction, uh, you don't know? No, I, you don't know, yes. okay. So you sell in the auction and then, Only, that's, all. that's all. You don't, you don't know if they then take, no, no, no. if mostly it's going outside of India or if it's going to stay in India? Only buyers. Only buyers? Only buyers. You just care about selling? Oh, just no selling. Definitely. You don't care who they are? Yeah, yeah. You just want to sell your tea? <laughs> 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 okay, which grade do you want? Uh, which is the best? We have uh, four grades. Uh -huh. Premium SRT, SRT, BOP, F, BOP. This one? SRT? SRT, SRT Super Refined Dust. BOP. BOP. Which BOP one is the... Uh, big size. Which one has the most strong taste? Strong tea, uh, SRT. Then we take the SRG. Huh? Premium SRG. Premium SRG. 250 per kg. No problem. We take one of these. Yeah. How many kg you want? Just one kilo. Just only one. Kilo. Yeah, yeah. I'm just traveling around India. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I have, I have to finish before I leave India. Okay, okay. okay. This is our uh, two bags. 250. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, that's a lot. So two bags like this. This is what it looks like. Texas. Tejas. How do you pronounce tejas, this? Tejas. 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 Yeah. 
Not Texas. <laughs> That's Spanish. That would be the Spanish pronunciation. And here you have your workers in the field. And do you produce tea all year round? Do you produce all year round or is it a seasonal production? He's busy looking at his change. Yeah, yeah, change. Um, do you produce all year round? Yeah. All the year is yeah. production or is it a seasonal? No, no, no. Year, no. year round. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all the year. All the year. No stopping. No stopping. So you don't know how much, how many kilos you sell in one year? One year, uh, uh, 60 tons. 60 tons of tea 60 tons. in one year. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's a lot. Yes. That's good. Yes. And it's is your production... A huge factory. It's, a, it's huge. It's a big one. Yes. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for the tour. Thank you, thank you. That was nice. Oh, nice, nice meeting. I wish you all the best with thank your you, tea thank production. You, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Hello. Hello. What are you doing here? Cow. Ah, cow. Cow. Feeding the cow. Ah. Cow for cow. fertilizer. Waste. Waste. Ah. Used for fertilizer. Ah, what is? For the ground. Ah. To grow plants. Ah, okay. ah yeah, okay. So, your husband? Our your family? Yes. Your family. Your family here? One family, our family. Oh, okay. Our family work. Uh, the big boss over there. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go say hello. Ah, go. So, she's keeping the cow in here. That's how they get fertilizer for the ground. This guy over here who's chopping away at the ground was the guy who sat down. Uh, as I was sitting down in the restaurant over there to have my lunch. He's now back in his field, chopping away. And here are some of his workers. Hello, how are you? So it's all the family <coughs> production. Let's go and see what he's doing over here. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. You're chopping. Huh? You're fertilizing. No. Huh. To plant again. Planted. To planting. He's planting potatoes. Potato. Potato. Getting ready to plant. plant. How many months for it to three, get ready? Three months. Three months. Three hours for four months. Three months, okay. Three hours, three hours, four months. And the cow is oh. fertilizer. Ah. Okay. So the cow shed in the ground ah. to get fertilizer. Wow. That's a tough work as well. Five, six hundred potato. Five, six hundred kilos in this field. Oh, okay, I see. Three months. Uh huh. About three months. And then after you plant. After pl plant, say, uh, three months. Uh, oh, or, uh, after harvest you plant carrots. Uh, you plant beetroot. Six ton, six ton or seven ton. Okay. Or uh, only potato. Only potato. All year round. Uh. Always potato. It's for, it's for, it's for, uh, up there as well. Uh, this is yours up there, sir. So. Okay, so that's his stuff over there as well. You never, <laughs> you never go in your own feet. My own land. You never go. Ah, uh, food, food. Never. No, never. Never. Ah, uh, food quality. Under shoe quality, bad sila. Shoe quality protect. Ah, uh, correct. Never had. Never hit your own feet. Ah. Uh. He's never cut off his own foot. Food. Ah, ladi patte dilli an kegra. Allah ladi patte ke. No. Ladi patte. No, no. Ladi stain. Okay. No. Very good. Kerala motor naal pa gurtu na port kam chala. Professional. No, no. I'll kill you. 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 You know it? <laughs> Have you been? He's, uh, he's been too many times. He has been many times. <laughs> I bought two bags of tea. So now, we're gonna try your tea. 220. Yes. <coughs> For a bag or one, one kg? Two kg. Two kg. 500 grams, 500 grams. Okay. One kg. One kg. One kg. 250. Okay. 250 kg. Here only, uh, just come. Yeah. Just this. Uh, Outside, this is a, this is a 300, 350 kg. 
in other countries. Yeah, other uh, side. Aye. Other side. Uh, Chennai. Uh, no, no. Mumbai. Uti town. Ah, yeah. You go, you know, this is all 300, 350. Okay. Ah, okay. So I got a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> so now I would like a chai. <laughs> yes. You have to water. Water. Okay. Have it. Okay. Have it. Yes, yes. Take some water as well. Hopefully, I won't get bad from this. Uh, it's hot. Ew. That's not good. We're going to round off with a trying a cup of chai. Okay, I'll try. So here we got served the chai. The chai, as we learned, not chai tea, just chai. Just chai. <laughs> that they serve here in the family restaurant. Mm. This is better than the one I had at the bus station this morning. There's more tea taste in this one. This is better than the one I had this morning. Good. Very good. This is more fruit taste to it. Very nice, no? Top class. <laughs> Top class. <laughs> Fantastic tea. Ah. The cup is very hot. 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 I cannot hold. <laughs>